Hello there, it's Courtney and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today we're back at Anfield and Liverpool taking on Burnley in the Premier League. Um really like don't know what I expect after that Arsenal game. Um hopefully we are back to our best because last Sunday we were not our best at all. Um but yeah, hopefully today is a good game. I'm in the lower Kenny Dagleish stand, so hopefully got a good view as well. Um but as for team news, Klopp has said Joran's press conference this week that flu is going around the squad so potentially could be a few players missing. I know there's a rumour this morning that Alisson hasn't been seen on the morning walk with the team. Now that could just be he didn't go on the walk possibly um, but obviously with the news of obviously the flu being in the squad it's not looking good for Alisson but if Kelleher is in goal I've got all faith behind Kelleher I think he is a quite decent goalkeeper, um, especially being back up to Alison Becker and knowing he'll get very minimal game time. He's really, really good. But um, yeah, alongside that with team news, we saw Thiago on Sunday for the first time in months and he is already injured again, another muscle strain apparently. I'm um, not sure how long it's going to be, but obviously not good news as for Sobersly we've been told he is slowly getting back out there and training but he will not be there today maybe next week maybe the final god knows and also Salah's back in the gym so hopefully we see both of them back in time for the final speaking of the final I was successful in the ballot so I'm going to Wembley cannot wait it could be the first time that I see Liverpool lift a trophy in person I've always been unlucky in ballots and stuff like that and before then the only other final I'd been to uh, was when the Carabao Cup was the Capital One Cup in 2016 and we played City, lost out on penalties. It was also Klopp's first final, I believe, with us. Um, nice that it's all coming full circle and I'm going to the same competition again for his last time in that final, so nice. But um, yeah, looking forward to that. But yeah, team news, there it is. Once the full team news is out and we can sort of see who's ill with the flu um, I'll be back with yeah for team news it's going to be interesting to see to be honest obviously as well as no Canate eh? because he got sent off against Arsenal which I think a lot of people like sort of it's flying over the heads a bit so it is going to be interesting to see the starting lineup today but with that being said I'm going to head to Anfield try and catch the coach coming um, and then I'll see you once team news is out let's go <laughs> We have Keller here in goal, so Ali is out with the flu. Defence, we have Trent Alexander Arnold, Gerald Quanda, Virgil van Dijk, and Andy Robertson. Midfield is Alexis McAllister, the return of Watari Wendam. Couldn't get it out then. And then Curtis Jones, and then up front we have Diogo Jota, Darwin Nunes, Starton Getting, and Luis Diaz. I think after um, the Arsenal game, we really missed um, Nunes. Um, and I'm trying to see who is on the bench, but my phone will not scroll, so so we shall see. But I'm going to head in now. Hopefully we get the three points. That's all that matters. City have just beat Everton, I believe. So yeah, two nil. <sighs> just win, Red.
entrance corner. Get in. He will take us to victory. Liverpool won 3 1. Go back top of the league after City won earlier today. Um, bit of a nervous first half, obviously, only scoring the one goal. And I think that might have been one of the very few at least shots we had on target in that first half. Um, and then obviously, Burnley came back and scored an equaliser. So, 1 1 at half time, it was quite nervous. Um, also, in that first half, you could already see the referee and wasn't the greatest um, yet again. I don't know why, but it wasn't. Um, Nunes getting wrestled literally to the ground. And it was only in the centre circle. It wasn't anywhere important. But there was no foul, no yellow card given. And you could literally see Nunes getting wrestled to the ground. So I don't know what was going on there. Um, but there was a, a few other moments like that where fouls seemed to be letting go at, at certain points and giving at other points. It's just a bit... bit 
ridiculous um, the current form of refereeing so um, hey ho but the whole front three start that started today scored Diogo Jota, Darwin Nunes and Luis Diaz all getting a goal today which is brilliant to see especially for Nunes just giving them that bit of confidence hopefully um, also I found out today I can check offside where I was sat today quicker than VAR um, actually it took me probably 10-15 seconds less than VAR to go back onto my camera find the clip find the little thing, scroll along, pause it on the moment and see that Harvey Elliott was clearly on side and I can't remember who it was there, number two I think it was, um, was just past the goal line which sort of told me that he was off, um, so that was a bit ridiculous but still not a overwhelmingly brilliant performance by any means from Liverpool but we got the win, that's all that matters at the end of the day, especially going for the title so... Oh, yeah, just glad the stress is over. I don't really, Burnley's one of them teams I don't really like playing. I don't like their style of football to watch. Teams like us play against. Um, but Burnley gave us a really tough first half at times, so credit to Burnley there. Um, but yeah, I just. Jurgen's fist bumps at the end have made me really emotional today. I don't know why. But he made me so go. I'm going to miss him even more when he leaves. He actually, it was a bit funny and I'll see if I can like zoom in well enough for you to see it on the video. I don't know what it was like but when the coach came in, I always scream as if you watch any of these videos, come on Liverpool, the coach is coming towards us. And um, as it was coming towards us, I sort of spotted Jürgen and was watching him and the next minute he looked at me as I went, come on Liverpool and started laughing. So it felt like it was at me but I'm never, like I'm not one of those bits like, oh, he looked at me. I think it was at me and then he smiled and I was a bit like are you laughing at the fact that out of everyone here I'm just screaming come on Liverpool because it was a quite a quiet coach welcome today um, so um, I'm gonna miss you Jürgen what can I say but yeah just now we go on to Brentford next weekend early kick off half 12 on Saturday away so fingers crossed Liverpool get another three points there please and then games coming thick and fast next week midweek is Luton and then we're on to Wembley so not long now until we're all in London hopefully having a really good time um, but that being said I'll see you all next time which should be the Luton game hopefully but yeah see you then bye